Today's video is about books that I'm currently reading. The first one is a book that I read each night before I go to sleep. I try for at least a chapter a night and I'm almost to the end of it now. It's called Green Leaf and Drought and it's by Isabel Kuhn and I wanted to show you her pretty picture on the back from back in the 20s when she was in the theater. The book is a biography of Arthur and Wilda Matthews and their little girl Lila who was one year old at the time that they decided they were going to be missionaries in China. Unfortunately the political situation was really bad and all the, ch all the missionaries in China were evacuated except unfortunately the Matthews weren't able to get out and so the book tells about the trials that they went through, the difficulties, the isolation, the problems getting money for supplies and food and it was a really bad situation. Great biography. Over the Top by Russell Frelick. He was 18 years old when he decided to try cliff climbing for a hobby and his book is all about cliff climbing. It's not about anything else. You will read this book and you will learn a lot about what it's like to go up a cliff. And that's something I would never do because I have a fear of heights. But I love reading memoirs because I learn so much about how other people experience life. Especially things I would never do like cliff climbing. The third book that I am reading currently is one I got out of the library a couple of days ago. It is called Journal Keeping, Writing for Spiritual Growth by Luann Budd. I just started reading this book. I'm a longtime journaler, but lately I've been in a slump, not getting much journaling done, and I thought this book would be able to inspire me to write more in my journals. And then the last book I wanted to share with you today is this one. It's called Breaking Free by Beth Moore. It's a Bible study, and it's like a 10-week Bible study with videos. I had to buy the videos from the Lifeway website. Cost about $60 for the videos as downloads. And I bought the book on Amazon for $20. So that's $80 um, investment in this Bible study. It is really good though. It is helping me break free from my past, which has been kind of sad and traumatic during the last few years. And so. Um, I'm getting a lot out of the Bible study, and it's a lot cheaper than even an hour in a therapy office. This being my first video, I thought I would share with you a little bit about what I expect to do on this channel. It won't be all Christian books, although it might be heavily Christian for a while, because I just became a Christian six months ago after I moved to Idaho. I did read the Bible about half of it, but I had never read all these books about Christianity and Bible studies, so I'm getting a lot of that right now, and I will share the books that I'm reading, even the Bible books that I'm reading, but this is not just a Christian channel. I read a lot of things. I read children's literature. I have a children's literature website called Literature for Kids, and I write books for teenagers. So I read books for teenagers as well, just to keep up on the industry there. And, and I also am the autobiography bookworm contributor at squidoo.com. So I read a lot of memoirs and autobiographies, and not necessarily Christian ones. I read them from all types of people. Just love learning about people. And I do read some fiction and nonfiction of various types, so this will be fairly eclectic. But if you like Christian literature right now, that's what I am going to be reviewing a bit of. And each time I finish a book, I will make a video review. That is my goal, anyhow. And I have a lot of books to read. And a lot of books that I've recently finished, I'm going to be making videos on them too. I hope to be able to upload about two videos each week. We'll see. 
This one has been really difficult to make because it's my first, at least it's the first for this channel. And there's been a lot to learn. In any case, that's it for today. Thanks for listening.